hey guys this is Shamandeep today I will explain what is nested function in C programming language okay so let's start so here's the nested function first I wanna tell you what is the function okay I mean uh, if you don't have the idea about the function so you will have the problem you may have the problem about to understanding this video if you know what is the function you can easily understand this video okay so uh, you can follow my further lectures for more deep study about the function okay in that lecture I was explain a entire thing uh, you can say the concept of function okay so now I'm going to start so the nested function when we use one or more than function in a particular function these kind of uh, functions are called nested function okay so here's the definition you can easily understand this by reading yourself and uh, now I will see you with the example okay so so I have our example in this uh, program I will calculate the factorial of a number provided by a user okay that's I mean dynamic initialization of the variable of the values okay so here here first uh, under the main function I have uh, I've, I'm declared a fact and fact is a us user defined function okay and here I have a variable a and whenever here you can see this is the function calling method okay here I am calling a fact function which definition is written down here okay means the definition of fact is written down here here and whenever the controller will come on this point it will see that I have a fact function and it will trans then the controller will transfer from here to here okay and it will execute this block okay so then again it will see that uh, uh, whenever controller will come under this block it will see that I have another function which is val okay you can see and uh, have the integer type variable m comma s okay and uh, again here I'm calling val function okay val val and uh, which definition is written down here okay so I want to tell you what is the concept why I'm using this uh, fact and val function fact function will calculate the factorial of a number and val function will scan the value will find the value from the user from the keyboard okay so you can see that under the val function I'm printing a statement which is enter any value and that value will be stored at the address of n and then that value means n will return to here okay and here the factorial will be calculated by this function and then then whenever the factorial will complete it will return to here under the main function okay and here I am just printing that number which is the fact of the value of the fact okay so this is the concept of executing the program and this uh, this is the method for calculating the factorial okay so here I'm given a condition s is greater than when uh, greater than 0 and s is equal to m minus 1 m and m is a is a variable okay I'm now I'm going to run this program so it's asking for any value suppose I provided for yeah so you can see that the factorial of number is 24 okay so and the factorial of 4 is 24 that's mean our program is correct and I'm telling you the I mean a basic idea about the execution of this program so first controller will come on this point and we'll see that I have a fact function and again here I'm calling the fact function which is which definition is written down here so uh, from controller uh, will transfer from here to here and will execute this block okay uh, this block not only this function okay and here I am I am using again a function which is val and here here is the definition of val function and uh, again then the tr controller will transfer from here to here and will execute this block and this block will scan the value from the user or from the keyboard and again that value will store at the address of n and here I am transferring n from here from here to here and here I am just calculating the uh, number factorial of n num n okay and then after calculating the factorial 
that uh, that photograph will transfer from here to here and after that I am uh, that factorial of the number is, is will be stored at the at the address of a I mean to the a and after that I'm just printing a okay so this is the concept it is so simple if you have any confusion any problem related to video so you can put on my channels okay so thanks for watching my video and please don't don't forget to subscribe okay so okay now thanks and bye